Another example on meeting of three equilibrium line forces at a point. A uniform root which is movable around one of its ends is pulled aside by horizontal force acting on the other end and equals half the weight of the root. So we have a uniform root. So here we have a uniform root which is movable around one of its ends. You are the root. It can move around this end like this. So, it's, so this end is fixed like uh, a hinge. It has a reaction. The other end of the root is pulled aside by a force equals half the weight of the root. The weight of the root is not given, so assume the weight of the root to be 2w. So the force applied at the other end of the root equals half of the weight of the root to be w. Find the measure of the angle of inclination of the root to the vertical when it's in equilibrium and also the reaction at the first end. So we need to find the angle of inclination of the root to the vertical, this angle. And also we need to find the reaction at the first end of the root. The weight of the root is 2w and it's a vertical force that passes through the midpoint of the root. So say E is the midpoint of the root. The three forces are in equilibrium and since the horizontal force and the vertical way meet at point N, so this is the meeting point of the three forces. So the reaction at the first end of the root has to pass through N or the meeting point of the two other forces. We need a triangle of forces that represent the three forces. Look at the triangle ACN. The side NA represents the reaction R at the first end of the root. CN represents the force, the horizontal force applied at the second end of the root. And AC represents the weight, the vertical weight of the root. Here we have a cyclic order. This triangle can represent the three forces. So by, and by the triangle of forces rule, the lenses of the sides of the triangle are proportional to the magnitude of the corresponding forces. So W over CN equals R, the reaction R over NA equals to the weight 2W over AC. Here we're not given any length and we're not given the length of the root, so we have to assume. So assume Cn to be L. So Cn, assume Cn to be L. Let's find the other dimensions from the geometry of the shape in terms of L. If W over L, so we have W over L equals to 2W, take this, over AC. Take this and simplify to get AC in terms of L. Simply divide both sides by W to get 1 over L equals 2 over AC. Cross product to get AC. Now we got AC in terms of L. So AC equals 2L. Now to find NA, here we have a right triangle. ACN is a right triangle at C. We have two sides in terms of L. And let's find the, let's use Pythagorean theorem to find the third side, AN, in terms of L. So by Pythagorean theorem, AN squared equals CN squared or L squared plus, two, uh, plus AC squared or plus 2L squared to be L squared plus 4L squared to be equal to 5L squared. So AN squared is 5L squared. Take the square root of both sides, so an equals square root of 5l. Now we know an in terms of l. Now we can find the reaction in the first end of the root. Substitute here, so w over cn, which is l, equals r over ne, which is square root 5l. So w over l equals r, the reaction r over square root 5L. Now cross product to get R, move this up to get R equals square root 5W. It's better to uh, keep R in terms of the weight of the root, which is 2W. 
so here multiply by 2 up and down to get R in terms of the weight or in terms of 2W or in terms of the weight of the root so R equals square root 5 over 2 times the weight of the root now we need to find the angle of inclination of the root with the vertical so the root the weight of the root is applied at its midpoint so e is the midpoint of eb and since the, the weight is vertical and so en is vertical and ac is a, is a vertical wall so en is parallel to ac and it passes through the midpoint of ab then n is the midpoint of bc therefore nb equals cn equals l the length of BC is L plus L to be 2L. This is equal to the length of AC. So BC equals AC. So triangle ACB is an isosceles right triangle. So the measure of angle A is 45 degree. So the reaction at the first end of the root is square root 5 over 2 times the weight of the root. And the root inclines by an angle of 45 degree to the vertex.